Round 3 of the Ripple Air Race World Championship 2010 in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The Copacabana is world famous for its beautiful weather, but not here on race day. Heavy rain and strong winds stopped Pete McLeod in his quest to gain his first podium of the season. This is how the story of Team McLeod unfolded throughout the week. First time in Rio for me and the team. It's an exciting city. The track seems to be fast. There's a lot of lively uh, nightlife going on in the city, so it should be a fun time, and uh, we're looking forward to it. After a disappointing first qualifying round, Pete proves his skills and talent in the second. He finds the right line and flies in a clean and smooth style. Therefore, the young Canadian easily qualifies for the top 12 round. Uh, just flying about five feet lower on the uh, knife gates, basically the approach in. It's nice to have an upward vector coming into them. I just brought that a little lower coming into them. On race day, Pete is ready to give it maximum power, but the weather gods were against everybody in Rio, with organization and stewards given no choice but to cancel the competition due to the awful weather conditions. Uh, due to uh, weather conditions uh, uh, deteriorating and uh, worse weather to come, uh, we've declared the uh, day is uh, no longer valid. For Team McLeod, no chance to grab that first podium of the season. You know, I, uh, the track looked like it was running fast based on the first couple times we saw, so it's a little bit of a disappointment for me not to, uh, not to get out there. According to the rules, the winner of the qualifying round is also the winner of the race. So Hannes Ark takes four points ahead of Nigel Lamb and Paul Bonham. Next stop is the home race for Pete in Windsor, Canada. Come and support our young hero.